Well, good afternoon, everyone. We have a very special Facebook Live for you today. Uh, as people are getting notified here, as you know, there's been quite a disaster down there in Texas and also uh, problems in Louisiana again. And you know what? Because we're all family, and we are, we all go back to Adam and Eve, we're all sinners, and our sin has resulted in a, a groaning universe, and our culture is groaning right now because of uh, the hurricane problems down there in Texas and Louisiana. And so as a ministry, we have been thinking about, praying about what can we do to help? We want to do something uh, that, that you, our supporters, can get involved in and that you can be a part of. And we want it to be something that was very meaningful. And as we were thinking about this, in fact, I was thinking about it uh, during the night this week and we had uh, received an email from our friends at the Children's Hunger Fund. Uh, Dave Phillips, uh, who heads up the Children's Hunger Fund, sent an email and said how they had some specific needs. We've worked with Children's Hunger Fund uh, to supply millions of meals around the world through our BBS program, and we actually promote them here at Answers in Genesis. And I'm pleased today to introduce you to uh, Dave Phillips. Uh, Dave, what's your position at Children's Hunger Fund? Well, hello there, Ken. Uh, my position is president and founder, and uh, Children's Hunger Fund is uh, based in Los Angeles, but we're global in our distributions. So you're involved in this hurricane relief effort, and uh, you gave us a challenge that you needed money for freight, for tractor trailers to take supplies, food, uh, other items to uh, Texas, and then maybe on to Louisiana as well. Uh, can you Can you explain... Uh, what you're going to be doing in regard to this relief effort and the amount of money you're sort of looking at that you need. Absolutely, Ken. For those that are that are new to Children's Hunger Fund and really don't know who we are, uh, we exist solely to serve the local church around the world. So we come alongside gospel-centered churches and we resource them with food and other tools, all for the purpose of building relationships with poor children and families. So we have a pre-existing network of churches in Houston and in the Gulf City area. And uh, we've been mobilizing all of our corporate uh, partners to secure truckloads of emergency food, water, uh, resources to rebuild those homes in terms of household goods. And uh, we're staging them at our distribution centers in Dallas and San Antonio. And then uh, as, we, as we are enabled to get in touch with the church partners that we work with, we're going to channel those resources into the greatest uh, areas of need so we can make the greatest impact for the gospel possible. Well, you know, one of the things that we wanted to make sure that we could do uh, was to support an effort that we knew it was um, very, very specific and uh, very meaningful. And it was so thrilling when you actually contacted us and said, hey, uh, we, we have this need and we asked how much would you like us to try to raise in freight for these uh, vehicles to be able to transport uh, this material? And you gave us a figure of $210,000. Can you explain that a bit more in detail? Yeah, absolutely. Um, first of all, the, uh, the generosity of Answers in Genesis has been amazing in the past and the way that you've supported us. Uh, we have a, a host of corporate partners, some of our biggest uh, Corporate partners like Nestle Foods, uh, we've gotten donations from uh, uh, Walmart, we've gotten donations from other large corporations in Texas and around the country uh, with PepsiCo that also owns Quaker, and uh, they're, they're securing large quantities of donations for us, and we're anticipating over the next several weeks that we'll have as many as 50 truckloads of product available. And so we've estimated the freight on that will run about $210,000 to get it from locations around the United States, get them into the impacted areas, and then get them onto the ground into uh, the hands of churches and church volunteers so they can get them out to those recipient families that are in such desperate need of help. And that, that's what we need to be doing is to helping our family uh, down there in these devastated areas. As I said, we're all family. We all go back uh, to Adam and Eve. And we launched this last night in partnership with uh, Children's Hunger Fund and sent out an email, put an article on our website. Now, if you go to the top comment, we're going to pin right there at the top the article uh, that we wrote for our website, and there's a, a link where you can go right there and donate towards this. And every single penny, every single cent uh, that is donated towards this hurricane relief, we will send on to 
Children's Hunger Fund. And Dave, we only launched this just last night and challenged people that we need to raise that $210,000 for you because that's what we want to do. That's what we're trying to do and committed to do here. Uh, and uh, already, between last night and this morning, uh, we've already had donations totaling about $40,000. Uh, so now we're uh, another 170000 to go. So uh, we really are thrilled with the way in which people are responding to this. And I think it's been on the news. We've seen the devastation that's there. W would you tell us, you actually helped in the relief efforts uh, for Katrina as well, didn't you? Yeah, we did. When uh, Katrina hit, uh, we had pre-existing relationships there as well. And uh, over the course of about a six-month period, uh, God was just very generous in allowing us to uh, distribute over $20 million in relief aid, uh, totaled about 175 truckloads of relief. And uh, the exciting thing um, uh, about that situation, and, and I believe how God's going to use this current situation, it's an opportunity for the church to be the church, for churches to mobilize, to be the hands and feet of Christ on the ground. And what we have found is that as a result of these crises is that oftentimes churches that really weren't engaged in their community prior to the crisis tend to stay engaged after the crisis is over. And that's what we hope will happen. It's all about relational ministry. What we wanna see churches engaging their community for the purpose of evangelism and discipleship so that these uh, communities can be transformed for the gospel. I know that's the heart that you share, Ken, and that's the heart of Answers in Genesis as well. And that's why we really wanted to partner with someone uh, of a like mind in this, you know, someone who, like us, uh, wants to work with, with the local church and develop those relationships. And as you said, the church being the church, and that's what we wanted to see, and that's why we're thrilled to be able to partner with Children's Hunger Fund. And we, we just didn't want to raise funds and sort of send it to some nebulous place. We wanted it to be something that was very meaningful. And so I think this is just a great uh, partnership. We've had this partnership now for many years. And when you, when you said you distributed $20 million worth of resources there in uh, Louisiana, how much did, did you raise to actually be able to uh, do that distribution? Yeah, we, we raised about $1.5 million, and through our corporate partners, we were able to convert that into $20 million of aid. And while we're here on Facebook Live, if somebody wants to ask a question uh, and uh, ask you any questions, we'll see if we can uh, get that happening, and then uh, my videographer here can pass on any questions that we have. But uh, for this uh, outreach that's coming up now, uh, when do you think the first trucks can start rolling down there in Texas? Well, we already have truckloads of water staged in San Antonio. We've got other relief aid uh, staged in San Antonio and Dallas, and we've got uh, product at our facilities in Chicago and Los Angeles. So we're in the process of uh, getting those to our distribution centers. And uh, as you know, the, the, the situation on the ground is still very fluid. Mm -hmm. uh, the roads have been closed uh, throughout the Houston area. Uh, I don't, I can't think of a time when there's been greater widespread flooding, uh, but as those roads are opening up, our, our goal is to get them to distribution outlets to where they can make the most immediate help. So the first response is focusing on water and emergency food, but we're really in this for the long haul. Where we're going to make the biggest impact is over the next six to 12 months, where we can mobilize churches to bridge long-term relationships with these families and just walk through life with them over the next 12 months to see their lives restored and through that process, um, introduce them to the creator of the universe that loves them and wants to know them personally. Well, I think that is absolutely uh, uh, phenomenal and um, we appreciate what you do, appreciate partnering with you. Now, let's say that you know our challenge to our people is to raise $210,000 towards this freight. What happens if we raise more than that? Can you use it? <laughs> well, well, I can assure you that we'll put that money to use. Uh, one of the things that uh, uh, we kind of pride ourselves organizationally is our low overhead that uh, since our inception 26 years ago, uh, about 97% of our resources go directly to the point of need. So we're not going to use this money uh, to, uh, to pad our books or to, uh, to benefit ourselves. It's all going to get into the areas that need it most, and we'll convert this, uh, this money that comes in to tangible relief aid that will advance the gospel and that will ultimately impact families for the kingdom. Hey, I just uh, actually logged on to my own Facebook. I'm watching myself right now. 
<laughs> on Facebook Live, but uh, I want to see some of the uh, questions that are here. Uh, what percentage of donations is used for administrative costs? That's a question people always ask. Yeah, I think I just answered that. Uh, our our administrative cost is uh, between two and three percent each year, and uh, we will we will honor that this year as well. Two to three percent. That's very low. So so basically, ninety eight percent, ninety seven percent, or ninety eight percent of what people give is going straight to those people in need. That that's correct. So someone asked, um, are you taking only monetary donations or can we send clothing, emergency supplies, etc.? Uh, you broke up there. I only heard the monetary part. Are we taking monetary donations? Yes. And uh, are, you taking, are you taking other donations as well, like for supplies, uh, clothing? Yeah, I think where we could use the most help would be if individuals have uh, relationships with corporate partners that want to secure truckload donations. Those are the most cost effective ways for us to help. Mm -hmm. um, it's a little more challenging if you know churches do clothing drives or things like that. They're harder to distribute, they're harder to palletize, and they're harder to use on the ground. Uh, but the other way that we could use help from uh, from your supporters is if they're in the Dallas, San Antonio, uh, Chicago, or Los Angeles areas, they could go to our website and they could volunteer and help assemble food packs and other resources that will go directly to the impacted areas. That's, uh, that's a great idea. Could you just say that again? I think it'd be good for people to hear that again. And I know that there are people from various uh, places that are on my Facebook Live right now, and we'll pin a link to Children's hunger fund as well. We'll have that in the comments, but uh, if they live in an area where you have uh, a facility, that, uh, explain how they can help again. Yeah, absolutely. For those that want to volunteer, uh, our greatest need for volunteers is in the Dallas area. Uh, we have a large distribution center there, secondarily in San Antonio, Texas. Uh, but if you're in the Chicago area or in the greater Los Angeles area, you could go to our website and go to our volunteer page and find out the volunteer opportunities. And we, we'd love to have you come in, volunteer some service hours, and you can help us pack food packs and other supplies that will go into the hurricane impacted areas. And uh, that, that website address is simply childrenshungerfund.org. Now, Dave, uh, you know, you raised, uh, what, one half million dollars, I think you said, uh, to be used in Louisiana, and that was to distribute uh, millions of dollars worth of goods, what, $20 million worth or so. Do you envisage what's happened here is going to actually require even more distribution than what you, what you saw from Katrina? Yeah, I, 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 absolutely. The answer to that would be yes. I, I think our ability to help with this crisis uh, will be multiplied uh, uh, over what we did in Katrina. Uh, we, we're much more better positioned organizationally. Uh, we have two distributions in place in Texas with, with staff and, and resources and trucking and equipment. Uh, when Katrina hit, we had nothing in Texas um, in terms of staffing or facilities. So we're much better positioned now. And uh, I don't think that's by accident. I think it's by God's design uh, to come in and uh, to make the greatest impact uh, with the resources that God brings into our, to our care. And we wanna be the best stewards of those resources. Again, uh, just to let our supporters know that we are partnering with Children's Hunger Fund uh, to distribute uh, needy resources to people in the devastated areas because of the hurricane. And if you look at the comments and go to the top, you'll see there where we have pinned a link uh, to the article that we wrote on our website and a link to where you can click on there and donate. And uh, if you uh, just put in the comment section for Hurricane Relief, Hurricane Harvey Relief, every single cent that's donated through Answers in Genesis for that relief goes to Children's Hunger Fund. And uh, as we said, uh, only about 2 to 3 percent are used for administrative costs for the year uh, for Children's Hunger Fund. So the majority of that, 97, 98 percent of that, uh, is actually used for distributing these resources to needy people and you work through the local church, develops relationships. Uh, so there's obviously we're doing what God tells us to do as his people in his word and uh, to also help people uh, not just physically but in, the, in developing relationships spiritually as well. Yeah, absolutely. Ken, you guys are, are so generous. Uh, we're so thankful for, for you, for the AIG family and for all of your supporters that uh, just 
are so willing to come alongside us and help in this time of need. And we are, we've been working with you for a number of years uh, with our VBS program. It's one of the top in the, in the world. It's, it's in the top third in the world. Uh, we've been helping raise funds for millions of meals for needy children around the world too, haven't we? Yeah, that's correct. Uh, we, we launched that program with you, I think, about four years ago. And uh, for us, through our food pack program, where we, we give churches uh, uh, boxes of food that are delivered directly to the homes of, of families uh, across America and around the world, uh, you've allowed us to expand our programs and multiply it to where now we have networks of churches in 150 cities across the U.S., and 60 networks of churches in 25 developing countries where the gospel's going out, where relationships are being built, where churches are being strengthened and communities are being transformed uh, through the partnership that we have with Answers in Genesis. Well, Dave, we so appreciate uh, that partnership. And again, uh, we'll have the link direct to Children's Hunger Fund uh, right there uh, on um, my Facebook Live on the comments there. You'll be able to see the link there and right pinned at the top are links to where you can go and donate through the Answers in Genesis page. And as I said, I know of, uh, as of this morning, we'd already raised, and we only launched this last night, we'd already raised $40,000, and we're challenging people uh, that we want to raise the $210,000 that you said you need immediately for freight uh, to be able to get those resources. And you've already got, what, millions of dollars worth of resources that have been donated, water and food, and you know, millions of dollars that have been donated already. That's correct. And those truckload donations continue to come in. Uh, I know we're just getting started. Um, we haven't even scratched the surface on, on what the needs are. And this isn't a short-term problem. This is going to be a long-term issue of recovery and rebuilding and restoration. And we're committed uh, to the churches on the ground and to the families that are impacted for the long haul. And I just want people to know, too, as a ministry at Answers in Genesis uh, and the Creation Museum and the Ark Encounter, we will also be donating as a ministry to that fund as well. And we're challenging all of our supporters. In fact, I just challenged all our staff. I sent an email to, we have uh, uh, quite a number of staff, about 900 staff or so, and I challenged all them to give to this fund as well. And uh, I know our staff are doing that. And uh, so we so appreciate you and appreciate Children's Hunger Fund. We need to let you get back to doing what you're doing so you can get all this uh, organized. And uh, thanks, Dave. It's great to partner with you. I think it's great for our supporters to actually meet you live on, on Facebook here. I know a lot of people will be watching this uh, once it's archived on my Facebook page as well. And we pray God's uh, continued blessing on you as you reach out to help people with their physical needs and also their spiritual needs. And you're doing great work. And uh, we love to partner with people like you who stand where we stand on the authority of God's word. Thank you, Ken, for uh, your love and support. And uh, just, just pray for us, pray for wisdom, pray for the churches that are on the ground. They, they've got a, a challenge uh, that is unimaginable. And, and just pray that through this process that many will come to a saving knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Again, we love you and we're so grateful for your generosity. Hey, Dave, would you like to uh, end us with prayer here right now and uh, to pray for those people down there in uh, in Texas, Louisiana, and uh your prayer for how we can uh, be of even further assistance to them. I'd be happy to. Yeah, let's pray together. Father, uh, we're humbled that, uh, that you give us opportunities to be your instrument uh, in advancing the gospel uh, to a world that has yet to hear the good news of, of your love and grace. And Father, our hearts go out right now to uh, the people in these impacted areas that many of whom have lost everything. And Lord, I, I know that it's in times where uh, people are at their greatest need that they're most open to, to hearing your voice and to responding to the power of the gospel. And Father, our, our hearts are united in praying that that is what would happen. Lord, that you would mobilize your church, the body of Christ, to, to rally together uh, to make the greatest kingdom impact in the days and months and years ahead. And Father, I pray for those that are even now uh, just struggling to uh, to get through these next few days. Lord, I pray that help would get to them, that they would get the, uh, the food and the, the medicine and the resources that they need, and that through that process, uh, that seeds of faith would be planted, and that you would just use this experience for your praise and glory. 
Lord, we know it's not an accident when these things happen. This is all part of your perfect plan and your master plan. And I pray that, that you would use it to remind us of your love and grace, to remind us that you're on the throne and that many, many would come to, to love you and to, to know you and to surrender their lives to you uh, because it's you who we serve and it's you that deserves all the praise and glory. And we ask these things in the powerful name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And uh, thank you. And we'll keep uh, praying for this and our support as well. And again, I challenge everyone to do what they can uh, to funnel through us to Children's Hunger Fund uh, from our supporters, uh, assistance to be able to really have a, a, a meaningful impact uh, down there in Texas and Louisiana uh, with people's physical needs and also uh, their spiritual needs. So thanks again, Dave, and we'll end this broadcast. Great. Thank you, Ken.